Hey Kids Rockers, it's me, Pastor Laura. First up guys, today is Mother's Day! So go wish your awesome mother a happy Mother's Day if you haven't done that already. And go draw her some flowers, make her a card, draw her a picture of something that the two of you love doing together. Go play nicely with your brother and sister or go clean something without her having to ask you first. So pause this video and go do that now before you continue on. All right, did you do it? Fantastic. Today we are going to be jumping in with the Connect crew to learn I can worship God all the time. Oh, where did that come from? Uh, this says to connect HQ from connect IQ. It, it could be a gift from Edison. Why would Edison send us what is clearly a person dressed as a robot? If Edison wanted to send us a robot, he'd send us a real robot. Ah! It's Edison. Hey, welcome back. You're here, you're back. You are back, right? I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> we are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name's Edison, and this is the time we learned when to worship God. I'm so excited you're back, Edison. Connect HQ has not been the same without you. I've really missed everyone here. I can't wait to catch up on everything that's happened since I've been gone. Well, why don't you tell us what you've been up to at Connect IQ? I know you've been working on some really interesting projects. Oh, definitely. What should I talk about first? Oh, uh, I know. Next month, Connect IQ is releasing the I Worship app for our smartwatches. What does I Worship do? You know how it's easy for us to forget to worship God during the day? That's why we built the iWorship app. It sends alerts to our smartwatches to remind us to worship. That is a great idea, Edison. I can't wait to try it out. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Actually, Connect IQ is looking for people to test the app before its launch. Uh, I could put it on your smartwatches if you wanted. Oh, I want to do it. Tony, can we do it? Yeah, it sounds like a great idea to me, uh, Jake. I want to try it too. Great, just give me your watches and I'll take care of the rest. All right, I've installed the iWorship app on all of your watches. When will it start alerting us? Well, that depends. It has set times to alert you to worship, but it also responds to your heart rate. Even my hummingbird heart rate? <laughs> I made a special modification just for your heart rate, Doc. It's important for us to worship God in times that are good and in times that are bad. By reading our heart rate, that can remind us to worship even when we're stressed. It's important to remember, I can worship God all the time. I can worship God all the time. <laughs> That is so interesting. I can't wait to see it in action. Remember, this is still a test model, so come to me if there are any complaints. Why would we have complaints? I'm sure everything will be fine. <laughs> oh, I miss you, buddy. Yeah, the telescope definitely collected some dust while you were gone. <laughs> It'll be good as new once I'm done with it. This is your worship reminder. Uh, what was that? <laughs> that was just your watch. Oh, <laughs> it uh, <laughs> definitely caught me off guard. But it is right, uh, I should take some time to worship God. Hmm. Let's see. God, thank you so much for bringing Edison back to the team. Thank you for all the gifts that you've given him and for all of us here at Connect HQ. You've done an amazing job creating all of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <laughs> Complete. So, what'd you think? I really like the reminder. Um, the voice... Y y y yeah, they're, they're still fiddling with the voice. I'm sure they'll come to a decision soon. Good. <laughs> Jake, shouldn't you be 
be sweeping the floor? Sorry, sorry. I know I'm supposed to. I'm just worried that eye worship is gonna catch me off guard. Electronics have a tendency to startle me. I'm sure it won't be that bad. You're probably right. It couldn't be. I thought the raccoons had all been taken to the wildlife sanctuary. What do you think they're doing up there? Don't forget <gasps> to worship. Jake! I told you, I startle easily. It's okay, let's just take a deep breath and calm down. You know, we should probably tell Tony about those noises and listen to worship music on the walk over. I think that's a good idea. Looks like Edison wasn't the only one who decided to make a big comeback today. It sounds like the raccoons are back in the air ducts. There were raccoons living in the air ducts while I was gone? It was a whole thing. Maurice left a few too many pizza crusts up there and... Ah, uh, I, I get the idea. <laughs> I'll have to call the animal sanctuary and make sure they didn't have any escapees. This, uh, could be a problem. Worship <laughs> time! Your heart rate monitors must have gone up. Just take a deep breath and relax, Jake. Easier said than done. Why don't you say a verse with me? I think it might help. Okay. It's from the book of Psalms, chapter 145, verse two. Psalm 145, two. Psalm 145, two. I will praise you every day. I will praise you every day. Yes, I will praise you forever. Yes, I will praise you forever. God is always with us and is always looking out for us, which means it's always a good time to worship God. And when we worship God, we get closer to Him. He helps us live our lives for Him, and He also comforts us and heals us when we go through tough times. I do feel a little better now than I did before. Thanks, God. <laughs> yeah, I know, the voice still needs some work. Okay, well you three keep working and I'm gonna go call the animal sanctuary. Talk to the animal sanctuary. Turns out several of the raccoons actually escaped last night. So they're sending some people over here to take the raccoons back to the sanctuary. So how long do we have to deal with that? Just a few more hours, tops. I say we just concentrate on our work and remain calm. That's not a good sign. I'm sure it's, it's fine, it's fine. It's just the wind or something. Or the raccoons are chewing through the wiring in the ceiling. how the raccoons were able to get up into the air vents. <laughs> if you watch Maurice long enough, you'll figure it out sooner or later. <laughs> True. I wonder what they're doing up there. This is strange, the, the console isn't working. The computer isn't working either. You don't think... When I say hi, you uh -oh. say worship. Do something! Uh, Tony, Jake, get to the hub. Make it quick. Keep going. Give me your watches. Yeah, I, th I think the app needs more work, Edison. That was terrible. Yeah. No kidding. Between eye worship and the raccoons and the lights flashing and the electronics going on the fritz, there was no way we were gonna be able to worship. This whole situation just reminded me of a Bible link at our archives. Do you guys wanna watch it with me? Let's see it. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. See the wonderful story. Through history and poetry How much Jesus loves me God's great story lives There's no other book like this This
This book is alive. I've had a hard day. Our new puppy chewed a hole in my favorite shirt. My brother ate the last of the cereal, and I stepped in a puddle and my socks got all wet. Oh, and I almost forgot. I also bit my tongue. Hard days remind me of Paul and Silas in the Book of Acts. Trust me, they had some really hard days. Kinda like my day? Even worse, Paul and Silas went all the way to Rome to teach people about Jesus. They did amazing things there through God's power. That all sounds pretty great to me. Well, some people didn't like it. They took Paul and Silas to the city rulers and accused them of causing trouble. Then, the rulers ordered soldiers to beat Paul and Silas with wooden rods. That's awful! It was. Then they put Paul and Silas in prison and told the jailer to make sure they didn't escape. Were Paul and Silas really upset? Actually, they prayed and sang songs of praise to God while the other prisoners listened. Then, around midnight, there was a huge earthquake. Great, so things got even worse? No, they got better. As the prison shook, the doors flew open and the prisoners' chains fell off. Then- Wait, let me guess. Paul and Silas and all the other prisoners escaped? That's what the jailer thought too. When he woke up and found the prison doors open, he thought all the prisoners must have gotten out. He was so afraid, he took out his sword to kill himself. What? Why would he do that? He thought the soldiers would kill him anyway for not doing his job. But just then, Paul called out to him from inside the jail. He said, wait, don't kill yourself. See, we're all still here. Wait, you mean no one escaped? That's right. Since Paul and Silas chose to praise God, even though they were wrongfully imprisoned, all the prisoners were amazed. They did the right thing. They didn't escape, even when they had the chance. The jailer must have been really happy. He was. He took Paul and Silas to his house, where they ate a meal together. And Paul and Silas got to tell everyone in the jailer's family about Jesus. Everyone believed and was baptized. Wow, Paul and Silas made a big difference, even on a hard day. Yep, even when things were hard, they showed everyone that God is always good, no matter what else is going on. You know what? God is good. All the time. Paul and Silas were put in jail for telling other people about Jesus. If anyone had an excuse for not worshiping, it would have been them. But Paul and Silas kept worshiping God even though they were in jail. They didn't let bad times stop them. And because they worshiped God and followed his way, the jailer's whole family came to believe in Jesus. So even with eye worship and the raccoons and the flashing lights and the electronics acting up, we still could have found a way to worship God. I can worship God all the time, no matter how bad things get. It's just about remembering that God is always good all the time. Uh, the Wildlife Sanctuary folks are here. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> well, who feels like listening to a worship song on our way downstairs? Definitely me. Me too. Hi, I'm Edison, and I'm a part of Connect HQ. I have a great verse I'd like to share with you. Say it with me like this. Psalm 145, 2. I will praise you every day. Yes! I will praise you forever. We never have to stop worshiping God. We can worship Him all day, every day. When Paul and Silas ended up in prison, it would have been easy for them to think that God wasn't looking out for them, but they kept worshiping Him all night because they knew that even though they were in jail, God was still good. When we go through hard times, it isn't always easy to remember to worship God. But no matter what happens to us, God is still close to us and looking after us. We can worship Him because He comforts us and heals us when times are tough and shows us how to live more like His Son, Jesus. It doesn't matter what time it is, where you are, or what you're going through. Any time is a good time to worship God. Don't forget, I can worship God all the time. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. It's gonna take longer than a month for Connect IQ to fix this voice problem. 
No matter what we're going through, God wants to support us and be our friend. Do you want Jesus to be your leader and number one friend? If so, all you have to remember are the A, B, Cs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice? If so, be sure to talk about it with the parent or a leader you trust. All right, let's say that Bible verse together one more time. Psalm 145, 2. I will praise you every day. Yes, I will praise you forever. Guys, I've got this great new watch. It helps me know when it's the right time to praise God. Praise God for coffee. Praise you, God, for this beautiful day. Thank you, God, for clean clothes. Thank you, God, for my children. I praise you. Thank you, God, for new life. <laughs> oh, God, I praise you that you can heal me. Thank you for this great day, God. Hmm. Look at that. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. Guys, when is it the right time to praise God? All the time. Now, you might not be able to get a fancy, handy-dandy watch like mine, but you can make yourself a worship watch to wear around. You could use uh, pipe cleaners that you have at home or get some embroidery floss. And there are so many patterns for bracelets and things that you could make on Pinterest and have your parents help. Uh, you could make yourself paper beads and make a uh, paper bead bracelet or, um, braid some yarn together to make something and wear it so that when you see it, it can remind you that every time is a good time to praise God. I can praise God all the time. Whether I am in a happy situation or a sad situation, praising God can make it better. He can make the joyful times more joyful and he can bring comfort in those sad times when we choose to worship him. So do that this week. And right now, take a little time to talk about these questions with somebody in your house.